My name is Chris Cundy. I'm a musician living in Gloucestershire in the UK and I'm currently working on music which is a partnership with the Corinium Museum in Sirencester and the project's called Archaeology of the Ear and I've put together a five-piece ensemble to create and write new music for this. Tonality is a bit more in between texture, just texture and alone. So bringing out the tonalities. Yeah, single notes okay. here and here yeah, and there. Uh, yeah, yeah. Possibly. Yeah. And I like to work somewhere between free improvisation and very formal structure. So this creates many surprises, and there's always a sense of discovery in the room. Um, I've been incredibly lucky to work with musicians who really engage in this world of spontaneity and um, the recording sessions are all done in the round so there's lots of room for us to juggle ideas and interact um, really sort of evolve the pieces and, and um, sometimes things happen over they need to take time and other times things happen very immediately but um, it creates a very intimate relationship with the music and and with how we're we're working together. Exactly, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you're right. Empath empathizing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, empathizing. <laughs> and I think I, th I think you know we're sort of getting used to the space within this downbeat and upbeat yeah. thing. So it's, you know, it's plenty it's of time. It's plenty of time really. to do it. Okay. And and what but what matters are the are the are the actions right at the ends of of our numbered pieces. Yeah. The piece that we're working on at the moment is called The Microliths and it's a response to this exquisite collection of tiny flint harpoons and bladed tools which date from the Middle Stone Age. So these were precision hunter-gatherers using these tools for their everyday survival. And in the piece, I'm using lots of percussion, both from the piano, played by Marjolaine Charvin, and also in the percussion world from Mark Sanders. And we also have two low string players, Bruno Guastala on cello and Dominic Lash, who's playing the double bass. And the piece is basically made up of 22 segments of suspended time. And because of the way it's conducted and the way we work through the music, um, the musicians don't really know how long each of these moments is going to last. So it brings a great sort of sense of anticipation and um, a real sort of sense of tension to the piece. But also, hopefully, there are feelings of calmness and of waiting. Um, I mean, really, we're dealing with glimpses of time and um, this kind of sort of sense that time is a, a fleeting thing. And then it's, well, you know, what do we do with this? And we've got amazing sonorous materials around us to, to, to throw into the mix.